Okay, you have a puppy and you wanna teach your puppy three tricks in three days, watch this video. My girlfriend and I, we just got this adorable Dalmatian puppy. He's eight weeks and three days old and I was determined to teach him the best way possible. Since I've seen such an amazing progress within only three days, I wanted to share my entire thing with you guys so whenever you get a puppy, you know what to do. Step one, most important thing is repetition. Your puppy doesn't know what's going on, so you have to repeat everything a billion times. Repetition is the most important thing to get your puppy to do what you want. You wanna go at least two or three times per day, and if it's three times four minutes or three times five minutes, that's absolutely fine. Keep working on one trick until he understands and knows what it means and how to do it. Number two. Patience. Without patience, you're not gonna go very far. He's not gonna get it. Your puppy is not gonna understand what you want from him. It's a different language. So you have no idea what I just said unless you speak German, but that's what I mean. He doesn't speak your language yet. So you have to teach him every time by showing him which position is sits or platz. Do not expect anything to happen within the first couple times you try something, he will do it once or twice and then he will forget about it. That goes back to repetition. The more often you train with him, the easier it gets for him. Next step, attention. You need his attention. Without his attention, nothing's gonna happen. So always make sure you have something to get his attention. I would say 99.9% .9 in training situations, I always need a treat to get his attention. Otherwise, he's just all over the place. He wants to figure out what the, the new room is, what the yard is, he heard something, he sees a leaf, he hears a, a bus driving by. He has so many new things around him, so you need his attention and you get it with food. Because remember, he's a puppy. He wants to eat, sleep, and poop. I make sure that I only give him commands when I have his full attention, when he looks at me, when he looks at the food. Because as soon as I start talking and it's just like blah, blah, blah in the background, he might lose interest. I have his full attention and then I tell him what I want. And then he gets the reward, he feels good, he knows, okay, he says this, I do that. And I get this. He feels good and he will do it more often. Next one, your boss. What does that mean? Your puppy will learn very quickly. He will be like, okay, if I sit, I get something. If I lay down, I get something. If I come to him, I get something. I didn't say it. I didn't say it. No, I didn't say it. I know you know what it is. But you only want to reward him when you tell him what to do. If he just sits, it's not a good sign because then he's just like, if I sit, I get food. But if you say, come here, and he comes, then he gets a reward. When he's just standing around and you say sit and he sits down, then he gets a reward. So you get the idea. You wanna make sure he only gets rewarded when you want him to do something, not him choosing when to do something to get food. Last thing that's really important is Playtime. I always reward Falco with playtime after work. So he feels like, okay, I get rewarded during the work session. So we do sit, plot, stay uh, here. And after that, when I feel like he's mentally exhausted, he can't do no more, he just wants, he jumps around, I lose his attention. Then I say, okay, let's play. And then I give him all the love that he needs to understand he did everything right. Everything we did in this short period of time was perfect. And now he gets even more love. So the next time you start training with him, he knows it's gonna end up with play time. It was a lot of information. Um, I just wanted to make this video because I was so proud of myself and proud of Falco that he actually learn so quickly. I still make a lot of mistakes and I'm, I'm not perfect when it comes to handling a dog, but I'm doing my best and I'm educating myself every single day on how to train better with the dog so he feels loved, safe, and at the same time gets trained so I can go places with him without him attacking people. And that brings me to another topic that has nothing to do with tricks, but I think it's very important to do from the first day you get your puppy. Every time he eats, we touch his ears, we touch his paws, we even touch his face um, or his tail while he eats. So he's aware of the fact that this hand feeds him 
and I can touch him and he's he's okay with it. I just wanna make sure when people come over or kids come over and they just grab Falco, that he's aware of hands and he's not scared by hands and he's not gonna bite them. Again, this is very important for your puppy to, to learn very early that the hand is good and not bad. And you can achieve that by constantly touching his paws, his ears, his tail. Last but not least, this is Falco's training. It's very simple. It's um, three times five minutes, sit, lay in here uh, every single day for four, like I said, four to seven minutes, depending on how he feels. So I just did an average of five minutes, three times per day. And I usually do that before he gets food. So he's hungry and he gives me even more attention with the treats. Then three times touch ears, uh, ears and paws and his tail, just like, you know, touching him while he eats. Why three times? Because he gets breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So that's why I do that. And yep, every day. And it's funny because I've had this little puppy for three days only, um, and he's already such a good boy. And I, oh my God, I just said it again. If you want to see more Falco, make sure you subscribe to this channel and you can also follow him on Instagram, Falco the Flirt. All right, guys, good luck out there. Let me know how it goes. <laughs> You're just so cute and saying, no. Yeah, you're cute. Was sokta? Was sokta? Was sokta? Huh? Was sokta? All right.